Law and Order's much anticipated return has finally happened. There are a few of the old faces and a few new faces joining the show. One character that has returned is Detective Kevin Bernard. The star behind the character has revealed why he came back to the NBC hit. We will check out that and see more Law and Order news. How is the show going? What do fans think? And so much more. So, who was Detective Kevin Bernard in the first run? Law and Order had a pretty long run before Anthony Anderson joined the cast as Detective Kevin Bernard. He only made his first appearance in season 18 for an episode called Burn Notice. In it, Bernard was a detective for Internal Affairs, a department that is never very popular in any cop show. He came in to investigate a shooting that involved Ed Green, who was played by Jesse L. Martin. At the time, Green was partnered with Cyrus Lupo, played by Jeremy Sisto. Through the episode, Green was eventually cleared of any wrongdoing and cleared for the shooting. But it changed him and made him realize that he wanted to retire. That meant that there was a spot open and Kevin Bernard transferred and became Lupo's partner. Anthony Anderson might have joined the cast pretty late in the game, but he is still one of the characters that are really memorable and that we won't easily forget. Plus, he was there to the end. It made sense to bring him back, but why did he want to go back to the NBC series? Why did he come back? Anthony Anderson has not had a quiet life since the show was canceled in 2010. He's gone on to play a string of shows and movies that have been super busy. He has also done loads of appearances as himself. One of his biggest hit shows to date has to be Blackish, but the return of Law & Order seemed to have been perfect timing. His show Blackish was just ending, and the actor explained around the same time he had heard the news that they were going to make a new season of Law & Order. He decided that he would take the chance and he phoned Dick Wolf and told him that he would be a free agent very soon. Wolf was really excited and glad to get him back to the show. Perfect timing, since about a year ago, Anderson would probably have to have been busy to take up the role of Kevin Bernard once again. He explained that he really wanted to go back because he loved his time on the series, and even if he was in it for a shorter time, he had become a fan favorite. Getting back to the role and the sets must have been like a sort of homecoming, and getting the chance to return to the character that you love has to have been pretty awesome. Fans are really happy he made that first call. But why was Law & Order cancelled in the first place? This was a show that had become a household name and started a massive franchise. Before that, Dick Wolf had worked on some incredible shows, but being the creator of Law & Order and all the shows that came after it was really what made him a household name. Its initial run was from 1990 and it was cancelled in 2010. That is pretty amazing and some fans believed that it would just go on forever. It had a really unique way of telling these stories, and it always had fresh stories to tell. So when the announcement was made that the series was ending, fans were shocked. Dick Wolf wasn't happy either, but apparently it all came down to a dip in the viewership. Not as many people were watching the show anymore, and the drop in ratings were resulting in a show that was costing more than it was making for the broadcaster. That could have cut the budget, but how would that have worked? Actors wouldn't want to work for less than they were used to. There weren't all that many spots where where you could cut down the budget, but either way NBC decided that they were cancelling the show, and no amount of negotiations from Wolf could save it back then. Next, how is it now renewed? But that didn't mean that Dick Wolf was giving up on the show. It was his dream to get the show back on the air, and to have it complete a few more seasons. He had unfinished business, and he wasn't going to let it go. Back then, he did try with other networks on board, but he was unsuccessful. After years of negotiation, he finally got the original network NBC to give them another shot and have the show return. In a time when reboots are everywhere, it makes sense to give such an iconic show another chance. But they didn't want to reboot the show. Instead, they wanted to continue it on as the same series. That's why it has the same name and it is running as season 21 instead of a whole new series. And why it was so vitally important to get some of the old characters and crew back together on working on the series. Otherwise, it would all just feel like a new take on an old classic. Have you been watching season 21 of Law & Order? What do you think? Is it as good as it used to be? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. We love to hear what you think. Next up, we'll check out how some of the ratings are looking for season 21 so far. What many fans think and what they're doing to keep the show the same as in the first run. So stick with us. The first run of the show worked. It was clear by how long fans remained loyal to the series and how many accolades the show received. So they didn't want to change the foundation of the show too much. In the past, 
past, it was unique because it showed the perspective from the police detectives and also from the prosecutors taking over the case from there. Obviously, there were some points of critique for the show. Often accused criminals don't make it to the trial, and this aspect of the law wasn't really addressed. But as a show, it was satisfying to watch the entire procedure and know exactly what happened in the end. Wolf made it clear that he didn't believe that there was much to fix. So for season 21, they would stick to the same formula of telling great stories with the help of a great cast. How is the show doing at the moment? They have really done all they can to give season 21 the same type of magic as all of the other seasons had. They even brought in some of the same creators. Wolf would be writing some of the pieces of the series. He also brought in Rick Eid as the showrunner. Eid is very familiar with Law & Order since he was a writer and a co-executive producer in the first run. And they brought out other executive producers that have worked for Wolf Entertainment for years. These are all people who really know the series and can write new episodes in a way that completely fits into the vibe of the show. The first episode has done incredibly well, but since then, there has been a drop in viewership numbers. Hopefully, it's a dip that doesn't last because that could spell disaster for the future of the show. So far, the reviews on the series have been very mixed. There are those that are raving about the show and how well they're doing. Then there are others who have slammed this season, some calling the writing mediocre, some saying that the acting is just not great, and many feeling that it has just lost its spark from years ago. Now, some issues fans are having. Like I already mentioned, some fans are loving the new season, but there are others who just aren't. One big problem that many fans have is the new characters. I get it, change is hard, and in an ideal world, we would have loved to have just had the exact same cast, but that just isn't possible after such a long break. But the problem that the fans are having is that the new characters just aren't likable enough. Hopefully this is a problem that will resolve itself as we get to know the new cast and characters and find out more about their backstories. Many of the original characters felt like friends since they were around for so many years. It's hard to replace them. Hopefully it gets better with time, but the show is doing something else to get fans hooked again. Lastly, rip from the headlines episode. One of the great things about this series has always been that they take on real world issues. Now they seem to be planning to get back to that with new episodes that are ripped from the headlines, telling stories that really happened in a more entertaining way, just like they always did. That might make enough impact to draw crowds back to the show and get the ratings all the way up again. At least we hope so. What do you think they could do to make the show great again? Let me know. Thanks for watching.